Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we take a look at a very important interview question that was asked recently and I thank Subham, one of my LinkedIn connections. This question was asked in TCS. So let us go ahead and see what is the question and how we'll be able to solve this interview question. Yeah, so the interview is telling that there is a particular table okay, in the data view. So the first column has sales and profit percentage. The second column is of a mixed type of data. Now there is also a type column which is the third column. Now what the interviewer wants from you is he wants you to create a particular column index, not a measure. This is going to be a column. So remember that first because you are in the data tab. In the data tab, whenever we do a row by row operation, we create column, right? Not a measure. So now what happens is ideally you should be creating a column for the first three rows which will give you the currency symbol appended at the beginning along with the value. So I need let's say rupees 25,000 and in the next three rows which is the bottom three rows you need to give the percentages. Let's say 24.00%, 35.00% and 17.00%. So you need to do this in a single column. So I hope you are clear with the question. Now let's go ahead and see how to achieve this. So I'll go ahead to the table which is PNL profit and loss and I'll right click and go to new column. So I will rename my column as the desired output. I hope this is visible. So to solve this, we'll use the DAX called format. Okay. And as you see, the format takes the first argument as the value and the second argument as the actual format that we want it to be. So the value obviously is going to be the column mixed that we want to pass as the value as the first argument. So comma and now I'm going to give the format. Now a catch over here is you have to write a switch statement. So uh, because you want the sales value as well as the profit value to be in a single column. Right. So I'll say switch. For the expression, we will use the type column. And I'll say when the type is equal to decimal, then what I need, I need a rupee symbol appended at the beginning of this value. For that, I just simply need to give something known as currency. I'll be giving you guys a link and it has all the format descriptions. Please go through it. Why I'm using currency, uh, you will get to know. Uh, now we'll go to the next portion, which is going to be the percentage. So for whenever there is percent, when the type is decimal, then you need the output as of currency type. And when it is of type percentage, then you need the output as let's say zero zero dot zero zero and you end this with percent and this percentage means it will automatically convert the numbers over here percentage numbers into 100 and then it will display the data and currency it will automatically append the default local so since i'm in india it will go ahead and take the indian rupee and append it at the beginning of the number now let's close the bracket of switch and let's close the bracket for format and see what is the the first three rows over here, a rupee symbol has been appended. Okay. And so for the percentage, I'm exactly getting in this particular format, right? So 24.00. Why dot zero zero? That's because after dot, I'm specifying this zero zero and uh, truncating it to two decimal places followed by the percentage symbol. So this was the ask by the interviewer. Uh, so guys, one request from my side is uh, if you're attending any interview in any company, please go ahead and post those questions in the comment section so that I can go ahead and make uh, videos out of that. And uh, you, you know, it will really benefit the community a lot. If you have still not subscribed to the channel, please do it because I'll be bringing more content, more interview questions and answers, which will help you to crack the interviews. And, you know, I'm, I'm reaching out to the to my connections on LinkedIn and getting the questions. And it will be good if you guys can also give me the questions. So, yeah, that's it. I'm trying hard. So please keep me motivated through your subscriptions, your likes and your comments. Yeah, so that's it for this particular video. Uh, have a great day. Bye bye.